Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to do something I haven't done yet on the channel. I'm going to do some keto-friendly cold pork. So I'm going to take this 10-pound uh, pork butt, and we're going to turn it into some keto-friendly cold pork. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to do is what I did was took the uh, pork butt out of the package. This is a bone in pork butt, like I said, about 10 pounds, and I washed it off really good. And what we're going to do is not um, use any kind of uh, heavy sugar based rub. We are going to season it up, but what I'm going to do is use this uh, Heaven Made Products Amazing Cajun. And I look at the ingredients on this. And one of the good things about having made products is on the side of every label, they kind of uh, have a little indicator of how hot or uh, mild this seasoning is. So even though this is a Cajun type uh, rub, it's, it's only in the medium side uh, as far as the heat goes, if you look at the uh, indicator. So I don't want it really hot and spicy. I want a nice kick to it. but. Uh, what I'm trying to do is replace some of that uh, sweetness that you normally get from a barbecue pork rub. And we're going to replace it with just a little bit of heat and some more savory. So we're going to use a combination of this uh, amazing Cajun from um, Heaven Made Products. And then we're going to use some lemon pepper from Running Wild. So I'm going to go ahead and get this seasoned up. And we're going to get it in the pack. So let me go ahead and start really just going to get a nice even coat all around it um, i'm going to put the first layer is going to be the amazing cajun rub just to give it a nice base we're going to make sure we get it all over it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to put some more seasoning on it after it comes out of the sous vide bag we are going to sous vide this for 36 hours at 155. And we're going to have this Sunday afternoon uh, for lunch. So then I'm going to put some of the lemon pepper on. Like I said, there is a little bit of uh, sugars in the uh, amazing Cajun spice, but it's so far down on the list of ingredients that it's probably not going to have any kind of effect at all far as a keto diet would go. So, all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish season this up on all the rest and then I'll be back. All right guys, I got my seasoning all on, all over it, nice base layer. And just like always when I, when I do bigger pieces of meat like this pork butt or briskets, I'm gonna use my expandable uh, freezer or uh, my expandable food saver bags. So I already got one cut and fold it back the top. So we can get a nice seal on it and I'm just going to go ahead and stuff this in there and we're going to get it sealed up and I'm going to throw it in my sous vide bath is almost up to temp and then we're going to cook it for 36 hours at 155 and I'll see you guys on Sunday when I pull it out. All right, see you later. Alright guys, this is the pork's been sitting all overnight in the refrigerator and it's time to get the uh, camp chef set up to the low smoke uh, setting, which is about 165. We're going to go ahead and light up my easy smoker tube with some more pellets just to get some more smoke to the meat. Uh, this small uh, 6 inch easy smoker tube will last for about 2 hours, which is just enough since we, we should only have this in for about 2.5-3 hours. I'm also going to hook up my meat probe to the grill so that we can monitor the uh, internal temp of the pork because we don't want it to get any more than the 155 that we uh, sous vide it at. So as soon as I put the pork on, we're going to put the uh, thermometer in it. It's time to put the pork on. 
We added a little bit more seasoning. Um, we did not dry it off. We kept it on pretty wet. Added some more seasoning, and that's it. We'll see you guys in about three hours. Oh, I forgot to put the meat probe in, dummy. So I'm just going to stick it in as deep as I can, and when, like I said, we're just going to make sure that the uh, meat doesn't go any higher than what we sous vide it at. All right, all. Uh, got the meats um, just about done. It's up to about 100 degrees internal. It's been on the uh, camp chef on low smoke for about two and a half hours. I just cranked the heat up a little bit up to 225 so we can get a little bit more uh, smoke to it and heat it up a little quicker. So, But while I'm doing that, I'm actually going to make a little sauce. Since we're doing a keto uh, friendly pulled pork today, we're going to do a keto friendly type barbecue sauce and it's going to be like a white barbecue sauce so we're not going to use any sugars or any uh anything like that pretty much just going to take about a half a cup or a little bit more than a half a cup of mayonnaise this is going to be like a white barbecue sauce kind of like the alabama style um, white chicken barbecue sauce and this is a a little mojo marinade we get down here in Florida that's like a, a Latin pork, Cuban tot style pork that they sell in our grocery store. You can use any kind of citrus type marinade. This one happens to have zero carbs in it. It has orange juice, lemon juice, lime juice, garlic, onion, other, uh, other seasonings. And it's going to be pretty simple. We're just going to mix this in with our mayonnaise and it's going to make a nice, uh, very nice uh, savory type Alabama style white sauce not going to be very spicy it's very flavorful so that's it I'm gonna pretty much just add about a quarter cup of the uh, marinade into it and we just want this to the consistency where we can pour it like we would any kind of other barbecue sauce and we're just gonna mix it up make sure it all gets incorporated and I've already made this once I kind of tried it myself and it works really well very simple, very quick, very keto friendly. And that's it, guys. Just want it to the consistency where it would uh, pour just like any other kind of barbecue sauce. Not too thick, not too thin. And that's it. And we're going to drizzle that on the pork when it's done. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, I'll, I just hit it with my instant read, and it's uh, probing on my instant read. It, right at about 125, 130. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing cooling down. Show you how it's looking here. It's looking pretty good. Got a nice golden color to it. Got my sausages are looking really good. God, I can smell the smoke. So I think that looks pretty good. We'll get this thing off and do a taste test. And I'll be right back. Well, welcome back, guys. It's all done. Got the pork all done. Sausage is done. Looking good. Smelling good. Does it smell good? No. It doesn't smell good. Oh, well, it's my son. What do you expect? I'm going to go ahead and it's peeling right off. You can see this is uh, falling right apart. So it is going to pull really good. I'm just going to have Craig, my son, who just turned 33 about yes. two weeks ago. On the 31st of December, I'm going to let him go ahead and take a taste, but I'm going to take a taste first. <laughs> That's not fair. And try that sauce. Go ahead and grab a piece. I'll let you grab I'll your own. This piece down here. And we'll have it together. How's that? Father and son taste test. Same time. Yeah. Cheers. That tastes good. Yeah, good, good for keto, good. huh? Yeah. No sugar. No sugar in the rub. No sugar in the sauce. Mm. Nice and savory. Check it out, guys. Thanks for watching. We're going to go eat our lunch now. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Like, subscribe. Check out my son uh, Craig's channel, Squappy's Drone Videos. He does a lot of work on those. Does a good job. Thanks for watching, and join me on my next video. See you later. Thanks.